I'm making this video to clarify the proper valve clearance and the best way to find the compression stroke. When I made my first video I was going off the CG Honda manual which had higher clearances. I added notes to my YouTube videos but for some reason some of the browsers don't show the annotations on YouTube videos. So set them between two and three thousandths of an inch. Goal! Now that we cleared up the clearances, I want to try to explain how to find the compression stroke the easiest way possible. This diagram shows how a four cycle engine works. Every top dead center is not a compression stroke. The easiest way is to pull the spark plug, put your finger over the hole manually, turn the engine over until you feel the compression on your finger, and then align the top dead center mark on the flywheel. Or you can feel the compression as you push the kickstarter. It goes easy. That's tight. That's a compression stroke. You'll feel it all tight all the way up. That's top. Now go over and check your mark. If the valves are floating at top dead center when you go back and forth, then you're on the exhaust stroke. And that's called valve overlap. You have to go one more revolution to get to the compression stroke. Another way you could tell is on the exhaust stroke, the valves will be tighter than on the compression stroke, which is why you do not want to adjust the valves on that top dead center. Well, I hope that clears up a few things, because I get several messages a day from viewers asking me different things on the Hawk, which I don't mind, and I try to get to everybody. Sometimes I can't get to you guys, you know, fast, so just be patient. The best way is to comment on the videos, then who knows, maybe you'll be in one of my new viewers questions matters video.